on this episode of the Peef Let's Talk. This black culture that you deem onto us, like the ratchet qualities in particular, are trash when they have possibly learned behaviors that weren't ours to begin with. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully that was clear yeah, you enough can, for you. Can, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. I'm not trying to say Why are you not addressing it, though, bro? <laughs> You've been doing this all night, too. We because still it's not important and it's stupid. And, it's and not the important. Reason why what not, the fuck? <laughs> why, why are you asking a question? You don't wow. want me to answer the question? No, no, you're right. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I mean, because, I mean, it is what it is. So the reason why I'm not going to sit here and get stuck mm -hmm. on this victim mentality and continue Ooh. to run the and continue to run the victim Olympics. Touch on you, that when you die. Continue to run the victim Olympics, which you and Shakari Richardson. Um, is because I'm solutions, I'm a solution oriented. I'm not gonna sit here and go back and forth and get rah rah up and, and try to see who's we're the calm. most we're good. see who's the most oppressed, even though neither you or I ever experienced slavery. We don't know anybody that's ever experienced slavery. We don't even know anybody that's ever owned any slaves. And so the thing that I look for is how can I help people level up? Oh, Kay's friend. <laughs> Fully. I'm glad you're let's here. Dispel, let, yeah, let's dispel that narrative right now. Thank I've you. I've never met this woman in my life. Absolutely. <laughs> what? And ain't nothing wrong with that. That's cool. But what's up with y'all? Glad to be back. On. Yeah. Ain't Welcome nothing, back, ain't man. nothing, man. And thanks for the support. <laughs> So I'm mad I missed the last show, but um, I like how this show kind of tied into exactly, you know what I'm saying, the topic that we all need to address and kind of what I would allude to the last time I called. And for the record, I didn't duck any smoke. My phone died the last time. So, yeah, um, the topic of understanding and the black culture is trash. So about that, I, was, I, I got a question for Anton first. Let me start there. When you make that statement, right? Can we get some clarity on when you saying that? Are you as are you making it as though you're a part of that collective, or you're disassociating yourself with that? Well, what? The black culture is trash. I defined it as the parts that's most celebrated by the majority of the people that look like me is trash. Yes, and obviously you can't say all because all of nothing is trash right but the the i have divested myself from a lot of the things that a lot of people celebrate and as a matter of fact those me divesting from a lot of that has propelled me to be a lot more successful as a matter of fact i did a video probably about four or five years ago and i put it on my uh my my first channel where i highlighted the reasons why i gave up rap music and all of that type of stuff so i've i've largely let go a lot of the things that the majority of the people that I see that look like me celebrate amongst the people that, you know, define black culture is awesome. So was the answer to my question, yes or no? My fault. It's not a yes or no question because there's context that needs to be added to it. I've divested what? myself from what I defined as a trash in black culture, which is what most people celebrate. Yes. But it's not everything. So you can't just say everything. That's the context. So it's yes, but then the context is the stuff that's trash I walked away from. I'm sorry. So it's yes that you do associate yourself with the black community? When yes, you I've that? walked away from and divested, my, divested myself from the things that we celebrate in black culture that's trash. So you make that observation as an outside spectator of the black community. No, I made I the want observation. I to make sure I'm getting clarity on what I'm asking you. So right? the clarity is that I made that observation as a result of what I experienced throughout my entire life. And when I became old enough to realize that it is trash, I learned to divest myself. So it wasn't from an outside perspective. It's based off a real life experience. On both sides, I seen how it affected me negatively. And then when I let go of it, I seen how it propelled me to be successful. All right, I don't want to hop on this too long, bro, because I still don't think I'm getting the answer to my question. So just to bring it all home, right? Are you saying that you've gone to your, you got your experience and from what you gather in your experience in the black community, you then determined that they're trash and decided from that point to disassociate yourself with them. I see and now you're, you're an outsider to, you, you, looking in. Nope, you're trying to put words in my mouth. And again, I'm not, bro. I'm getting, again. I'm asking you, you for said with the <laughs> black community, and I specifically said the people, that yeah. the trash. I'm sorry, black culture. The trash that's highlighted uh, and celebrated as black culture. That's specifically what I said. Which is so a part of the 
Okay, yeah, bro, but you're trying to distinguish that specific part. Like, it's not all a part of the the blanket term of the black culture. So what I'm trying to figure out, good and bad, the ratchetness and the righteousness, nope. are you associating with yourself with the black community when you make these statements? Are you making it as a spectator from the, the outside? Is the same. I walked away from the, <laughs> from the ratchetness and I embraced the things that are good from all cultures, including all right, black culture. All right, all right, bro. And I'm not getting an answer. Cool. We can discard, we can discard that. I'm going to present another question to the entire panel now. That's cool. Uh, in any in everyone's <laughs> opinion, please, can I get that some? Can I get y'all opinion on how long do y'all think it takes for a community or a nation to develop a culture? No, we're not gonna do a whole deep dive of the whole panel. I That's mean, it's not about a half deep... hour, bro. Well, no, like, bro, I'm not. Yo, I'm on point. the Bolex right. right now, right? Because I thought when I call in, I get, I get, you know what I'm saying, some special privilege on the panel, especially from our you last know, segment. You don't get special privilege, nah. like make your point, right. fam. I'm, I mean, I'm making my point, but it I'm takes asking a long every time. It takes a very, very all right. Cool. Long Let's just say it go. takes a very Let's long time, right? Cool. A long time. Years. Hundreds. Let's let's say multiple centuries. Cool. All right, bet. So let's let's take it. Everybody on the panel is familiar with acculturation. Yo, just make your point, fam. I'm just saying, bro, because acculturation is, you know what I'm saying? When the, basically the entire process of slavery, when a, another people's um, culture and uh, way of life is imposed on another on another culture and stripped of their original uh, <laughs> ways of living. That's what acculturation would be. So what I'm saying is since black people have went through the process of acculturation and for you to make statements like the black culture is trash, would you not uh, be disregarding the initial topic of the beginning of this set, uh, show, which was understanding as far as how we may have gotten there in order to have this quote unquote trash culture that's probably not even ours to begin with? What are you saying? I'm sorry. I'm a C student. I'm wow. Sorry. I'm a C <laughs> student. I'm, I'm slow. I don't. I don't know exactly what. I'm, I'm probably lower than that, that, bro. I don't know. Remember, I was out here loafing the first time I came. So in I summary, what the hell I'm saying. So, <laughs> like I so just, if you had the summer. I don't know. I remember ahead, back in school. I remember back in school, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in writing class. Again, I'm a C student, so work with me here. In writing yes, class, they said that hey. When you did your introduction paragraph and then you put your thesis in and then you put the three things, your three supporting statements that you're going to outline in the next three paragraphs. You did the three paragraphs. I missed the thesis statement. And then you kind of reiterate your point in the final paragraph, your conclusion. So what's the conclusion? What's the final? Bring it all back for me. I can bring it all back for you, bro. No problem. All right. So like I said, the topic of tonight, which I want to address is uh Understanding. Understanding is supposed to transcend disagreement for the most part. I'm paraphrasing, of course. But um, I brought to the panel the word acculturation because that would be more uh, that will resemble what black people went through during slavery when another set of people imposed their cultural ways and their traits onto another group forcefully. So what I'm saying is with those new learned behaviors that black people may have acquired during slavery, which we haven't been out of long, by the way, but a hundred some odd years, not to mention the other things that was equated, such as Jim Crow, segregation, Jim Crow. blah, blah, woo woo We ain't got to get into all of that. But like I said, with all that information, Anton, and with that understanding of how we may have gotten here, <laughs> can we talk about how... Uh, this black culture that you deem onto us, like the ratchet qualities in particular, are trash when they are possibly learned behaviors that weren't ours to begin with. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully that was clear. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. I'm not trying to say why you're not addressing it though, bro. <laughs> You've been doing this all night too. We because still it's not to important that and it's stupid. And, it's not and the important. Why what not, the fuck? <laughs> why, why are you asking me a question? You don't wow. want me to answer the question? No, nah, no, nah, you you're right. Question? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I mean, because I mean, it is what it is. So the reason why I'm not going to sit it. here and get stuck mm -hmm. on this victim mentality and continue Ooh. to run the and continue to run the victim Olympics, I'm touch which on you, that when you die. continue to run the victim Olympics, which you and Shakari Richardson, um, is because I'm solutions. I'm a solution oriented. I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth and 
get rah rah up and, and try to see who's the most we're good. see who's the most oppressed, even though neither you or I ever experienced slavery. We don't know anybody that's ever experienced slavery. We don't even know anybody that's ever owned any slaves. And so the thing that I look for is how can I help people level up? I focus the majority of my time and my attention on giving people insight, pouring into them and under, helping them to understand how they need to move financially, helping them to understand why they need to include ethics and good character along with it because money by itself or, or um, just leaning on finances, money don't make you a better person. It makes you more of what you already are. I'm focused in my and my purpose is to pour into people love solutions and helping them to understand that you can't you can't fight fire with fire. You got to fight fire with love because more fire just makes the building get hotter and it makes everything burn down even more. So I'm not focused on all of that. I mean, you and Kay, y'all can jump into that mire and y'all can get y'all. Y'all people that's earthy with no shoes on and y'all can walk around and say black power and get all of no these shoes. shirts and all of that stuff. Uh -uh. Y'all can work on that. And I'm cool. And I'm yeah, and I'm yeah. not trying to stop you. I'm not trying to stop you, bro. Do your thing. But that's that's not my move. I can't do that. I can't do the earthy thing, bro. I don't wear black soap. I don't do none of that, bro. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying. I'm just, right, just final thoughts, Foley. We got to move on. Final thoughts. Got you, man. I, you know what? I ain't even going to do it, bro. I'm going to just go ahead and get my shout out. Really? You've been sitting there quiet, bro. I fuck with you heavy, though. I just wanted to let that be known. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate your perspective on a lot of things on this show. Just wanted to give you your flowers while you was here, homie. And I also want to uh, shout out Courtney for staying on Cold last episode. That was the perfect representation of what On Cold looks like. I'm going to leave wanna, it there. I also want to shout out J.I. You know, I also want to shout out J.I. for that motherfucking yeah. shirt that's on the way. And the next time I call in, you better <laughs> believe it's going to be on. Fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. Y'all be good, man. Appreciate y'all. Right. <clears throat> I don't know K. Friends. I don't know K. I never met him. Video. You said what, really? Me and you gonna be friends on the next video. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, G. For real. I'm gonna be back. Hell yeah. Appreciate y'all be good, man. All right.